this video I'm gonna show you how to transform your photographs into really beautiful looking sketches. So let's get started. I know it's not that old color dodge blend mode trick, no, it's better. Let's get started. Hey what's up guys, Drool here and welcome to another video by Tutorials Junction and as you can see this is the final output and this is the original picture. Now when I said color dodge trick, it's really popular like uh, you just unlock the background like this and you make the image black and white. So control shift U to make it black and white. Then you make a copy of it, control J and then you invert this. So control I, you get this. Then you change its blending mode to color dodge. So you have this complete white image. Then you go to filter, blur and then you go to Gaussian blur. And it gives you effect something like this. Uh, let's say it okay. But it doesn't look that good, especially compared to this one. So I'm gonna show you how to create something like this. And now let's go to the original file. And here I'm gonna just simply revert this one. Okay, so before we start this effect, we have to make background into a smart object. So you can right click here and select convert to smart object. Then we have to rename this. So double click here on the name and rename it three filters. We good. Now we have to make a copy of it. So press Ctrl J so you have a copy and now double click on this name and you name it shadows. Confirm it. After that go and activate your three filter layer this one and turn off I for the shadow layer. So you only have this one active right. Then you go to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. In the Gaussian blur uh, my numbers are 3.5 but you can experiment however you like. So 3.5 it is hit OK. Then again go to filter other and go and this time select this high pass filter and here don't worry about the numbers mine is 4.8 uh, your image should look something like this as you can see then hit ok now we have to apply one more filter but before you do that make sure your colors here are black on the foreground and white on the background you can press d key for the default colors that's clear now again go to filter and go to filter gallery in the filter gallery, you have uh, this sketch option here and there you go and select note paper. So let me zoom out a little bit. So this is the sum output we are looking at and my numbers, it, uh, it should be 25 here. It's compulsory, uh, 0, 0 and 25. Then go and hit OK. So the outline is ready and as you can see, it has so much amazing detail in this dress as you can see. Uh, but it's really faint and we have to make it darker. So for that go and create new adjustment layer from here and you go and select levels. In the levels you can go and drag this middle slider this way. So it will make it slightly darker. You can select however you want. Uh, so I think this dark should be enough. Then go and close it. Now it's time to apply shadows. So for that activate your shadow layer. Turn it on. And again make sure that your foreground color is black and background color is white. Uh, then you go to filter and go to filter gallery. And this time uh, in the sketch department again you have to select this charcoal option. Let me zoom out so you can see the picture. So this is the output we are looking for okay. My numbers are 4, 3 and 38 but you can adjust it however you like. So we have all the shadows ready. Go and hit OK. After that go and change the blending mode to multiply of your shadow layer. So as you can see all the data is visible from this three filter layer and there you have it. And if you don't like this black bar I don't like it so you can easily remove it. What you can do is go and apply the layer mask from here uh, and make sure your color is black uh, and the opacity is 100% and then you can just simply go and erase it like this. You don't have to worry about it. Now the effect is done here but you can also apply some texture. So you can go to file, place uh, and you can download this paper texture. I have a link in the description. So select the texture and place it. Now I'm gonna go and rotate it something like this. Hold your shift key uh, and now hold your alt and shift key and make it bigger something like this. So it covers the area, confirm it. After that go and change the blending mode of your texture to multiply. So we have this really amazing effect. But the thing is I don't like this really heavy yellow tint. So what we can do is right click and rasterize the layer. Uh, then go to image, adjustment and I can simply go and make it desaturate. Plus we can also make it a little bit brighter. So go to image, adjustment and select levels. And here you can drag it this way to make it a bit bright. Looking pretty good uh, and go and hit OK. Now the final effect is ready and here comes the magic part. Don't tell anyone about it, okay? So the thing is, you can activate your 3 filter layer and do you see this thumbnail here? You can double click on that. Now this box will come up asking do you wanna open this layer in different documents? So simply just hit OK. So this is the file. 
Now what you can do is go to file, go to place and here you can select any image you like. So I'm going to go and select let's say this one and place it. So the image is here, confirm it. Now go to file and select save. So it will take its time, do you see here, it's saving it. And after that just simply close this document and as you can see the effect is updated. And this is because of layer mask, this one. So right click and select delete the layer mask and boom, you have the entire effect in completely different image in just 5 seconds. And this is the reason why you work with smart objects. So you can do cool stuff like this. Also here is a question for you. Do you like the effect with white texture better or do you like the effect with yellow texture better? What your answers in comment section below. So that's it and I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions ask me in comment section below. And if you want to check out more tutorials by me, you can click on any of these boxes plus you can also subscribe to my channel. So whenever I upload a new video, you will get the update plus it will take you to my YouTube channel where I have tons of Photoshop tutorials just waiting for you. So till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.